Hey guys and welcome back to the Journeyman with Yeovil Town on Football Manager 2024. We are back with two, one, one big game, one mediocre game. <laughs> uh, so while we've been away, the last game we played was was the Eastley and South End game. So we played Cole Shelton in the cup. We won three 0 It was it was what you expected, it, but we didn't really. We even played Rob Hollard. <laughs> um, we then got a two draw at uh, Braintree. They went two 0 up. We were awful in the first half. Came back for the second half. That is that sums us up really. Um, we then lost one 0 to Chelmsford, and we were not good in this game. Um, our first defeat of the season. Uh, it was a, an even game, but we just we didn't create anything. Everyone kind of had an off day. It, it wasn't good, and it was disappointing to to lose. But it could have been worse. Uh, we then played Paul, who were twenty second. Uh, they went one nil up. Uh, Worthington got a penalty, and then a late goal from Stanley Asamuga got us to win. And then we had a three nil win away at Hitchin, who are I believe right down there. Uh, yeah, twenty third. Um, score. I scored after eighteen minutes. Again, we were poor in the first half. Come back in the second half. Uh, so today we have two games against Averley, and we drew. There was a fourth qualifying round, which we we played Bromley. I didn't even mention. I didn't mention the farm. Like, yeah, we played Farnborough one three nil, and then we played Bromley, who are a Vanarama national team. They look like they're going to get re they're going to get relegated, but we went there and we dominated. We actually got a hat trick from Cardo Siddick. Our centre back got a hat trick from Corners. So um, yeah, we've got league game against Averley and then a cup game against Cambridge. We should be Averley. They're twenty second. If we have a look at the league, we are sitting six points clear of Eastleigh. That one loss taints our record, but. It's been very much a case of we've we've started games badly and then we've had to get back. Jack Stevens is top goal scorer in this league. We had him last season at Sully Hall. Um, didn't deem him particularly good. So <laughs> looks like jokes on us. He's got fourteen and sixteen. So let's get into this game. There's not a lot else to really talk about. Um, this is your lineup. So we've rotated a little bit for this game. So Dzinski starts. Stay from Chaplin, Jones, and Hay. Staunton, Worthington, and Guard. Beckham, Boateng and Maguire Drew with a bench of Ollie Wright, Joey Jones, Wes Jones, Young and Benjani jo uh, Jr. We have a lot of Jones in this team. All right, we have our first highlight of the game after 21 minutes. We haven't actually had a shot on goal yet. Oh, they've got a Jones and all. Uh, uh, Chaplin heads that wide. We don't get out to it. Dench to Krasnicki. And Handy Hadi Gandor put some one nil up and again we've started very very slowly um in a first half and we're just not we're not at the races at the first half in a minute it's oh, i feel like jones should probably intercept that it's not a great goal to give away but yeah we've not been good in this opening 25 minutes and it's a corner now for i can't remember who Averly. guard gets it clear Dench is going to pick up this loose ball. Goes here to Alban Jones. Back to Dench. Crosses that in. We head it clear. Beckham. Launches the ball forwards. And Maguire Drew is through on goal. And oh, good save by the kick. Oh, it's a goal kick. Should probably do a little bit better there. That's a throw in here. Haste with the ball to guard. Haste beats his man. Whips a cross into the back post. Beckham had two men to try and beat there. But Statham's going to pick it up. Goes to Worthington. All right, it's half time. We got a little bit better as the half went on, but we're still not been particularly great. All right, Maguire drew with a corner, drills this in, gone up as far as Staunton. Archie Chaplin gets his full for the season. Um, it's a bit of a mess. It's typical, you know, non-league goal. Maguire drew drills this ball in. It gets headed up rather than out. Staunton then heads at goal. O'Brien just watches it bounce off the post, and then Chaplin taps into an empty net. Young here with the ball is going to go to Chaplin, to Thornton, through the middle to guard there. Out here to Haste, to Boatang, to Jones, to Boatang, to Maguire Drew. 
Oh, that was audacious. If that had worked, oh my god. All right, Benjani Jr. here. Go on, Benjani. Goes back here to haste. Ball to the back post of Maguire Drew. Oh, headed out too young. Young is going to whip a ball into the back post. Benjani Jr. has been shoved in the spot. The referee points to the penalty. And that is a penalty. Who's stepping up? I think it's Nana Boateng. It is. And he's missed. Ah, that's disappointing. Maguire Drew to whip the corner in. Keeper comes out and claims. Yet again, our poor first half has really let us down here. We've definitely deserved to win this game. An <laughs> XG of 2.64. We've missed the penalty. It's just, it's poor. Okay, so we don't usually come back for news articles, but this is big news. Hamzid Kargbo has been, is had his contract mutually terminated by Sully Hall. Uh, he didn't feature at all for him this season. And last season, he got seven... Yeah, he got seven appearances in the second half of the season, 26, picking up seven goals. I'm going to offer him a trial. Are we finally getting the striker that we, we, we wanted for so long? Okay, so here is your lineup to play Cambridge United with Gan with Dazinski in goal, Statham, Sidic, Jones, and Hay, Staunton, Naughty, Low Everton, Young, Beckham, and Maguire Drew. The benches, right, Chaplin, Thomas, Werman, and Guard, Jones, Boateng, Asamuga, and Benjani Jr. Cogbo has not agreed to join yet. All right, Beckham here on the ball. He's going to go back here to Naughty, to Maguire Drew, back to Naughty. Goes for goal. Good save by Stevens. All right, corner here for Beckham. Whips the ball in. Back post to Sidic, and it's a penalty. I think Maguire Drew takes the penalty. He does. He's going to step up. He has missed one this season. He sends the keeper... To the, the wrong way, gets his 10th goal in all competitions this season. I said we needed a big year from him, and he is delivering with big numbers. I think that's 16 goals and assists in all competitions. Might even be more. I don't know how many assists he got in the cup, but he's been very good for us this season. All right, throw in here with Statham. Low Everton. I think that's one of the things I like. The game against Averley... We, we suffered with was our start in midfield three is absolutely spectacular. Our backup midfield three are not as good as when one of them is one of them's missing, it affects us. All right, Sidic here to Staunton. We've played some good football while I've been talking. And no way! Naughty naughty with a naughty naughty goal. What a finish from the midfielder. He was one of the big reasons why I took this job. <laughs> And that is an absolutely outstanding finish. He's just, he's standing still for most of it. And then a little bit of movement. And first time, Stevens has made a couple of good saves. But first time shot from Naughty Naughty. And puts us into a commanding lead against Cambridge. And we're going to go straight into another highlight here. With a, a throw in deep in our half. And we've played, we've played our way out very well. And we're going to go all the way back here to Hayes. And we're just going to take our time. Ball here to Naughty, to Young. Back here to haste. I'll cross to low Everton. As I said, when our midfield three are, are together, they are superb. Beckham now. Can he get a good ball in? He goes to Nui. Nui who makes it free with an absolutely sensational strike. Does a cartwheel. Has a little dance. What a goal. And what a commanding position against a, a team that, you know, or at least two. I think they got relegated from League One, but so they're two leagues above us in League Two. What a finish from Naughty Naughty. And we have missed him the past couple of weeks. And we've got another throw in just before half time. Haste it to Young. Pulls it back. Gets cleared out as far as Naughty Naughty to Low Everton. And he's seen Naughty Naughty scoring absolute screamers from the edge of the box. And he's like, Do you know what? Let me get in on that. I want to score, and we are 4 0 up on Cambridge. And as a fan of Peterborough, this result makes me very happy. <laughs> no, he just controls the ball across the low Everton from the edge of the box. Stephen, Stephen thinks he's going to try and finesse it outside to his left, but no, low Everton drills it top corner to his right, and we are 4 0 up at half time. 
All right, it's a corner here. 49 minutes in. Beckham to the edge of the box. Maguire drew. We tried something crazy there. And Okanabahiri coming forwards with it. We're shuttling him out well. We're naughty, naughty. Oh, my God. Have my children. <laughs> Beckham giving the ball away there. Ball over the top. And Stidich. Sidic, what are you doing there, lad? You were just like in your own little world. Concentration was not there. Corner here for Cambridge. Whipped in. We get it clear. Beckham heads it out. Back to Bennett. Into Harper Bailey. To Digby. To Isben Rossi. And they're, they're, they're having a little bit of the ball here. Are they going to do anything with it? No, they're not. All right. Digby here with the ball. Round the corner to Bennett. Across to Okinabir here. Cambridge have are throwing more men forwards. That's a good block. Young gets it clear, but they're going to pick it up. All right, we need to make... We need to do something tactically because they are... They're throwing a lot of men forwards. I feel like we need to stop. So, a couple of episodes ago, I spoke about how I felt like we needed to do... You know, we needed to do something more, kind of... In the... I felt like our tactic wasn't particularly working. So I went away and I created a bunch of crazy tactics and they're all kind of around. I haven't, I'm not training any of them yet, but this is one of the, the tactics that I used a while ago. I actually, it was my title winning tactic with Tottenham. And from, I think it was two or three years ago. And so we're going to give this a go because the whole point of this tactic is the defenders defend, the attackers attack. And then you will use naughty naughty to kind of link the play. And I'm just, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, do you know what? This might actually be the way to go. Like just because they are throwing so many men forwards, but the lads don't know this tactic in any way, shape or form. And now there you have it. Nothing happened after I changed to the, the, the title winner, the Spurs title winning tactic, um, which clearly did its job <laughs> because that was the reason we did it. Um, it's a 4-0 win against a Cambridge side that are leagues above us. And Hamzid Cargo has agreed to join the club. He wouldn't agree to join us on uh, loan, but he'll agree to join us permanently. Uh, 800 quid a week, he'll come in. Gives us something very different to what we have. Okay, so we've been given our next FA Cup draw, and it is against Colchester United, who are also in League 2. Sadly, this time it's away from home. How, their stadium's 10,000. I don't feel like that. What's our stadium? Uh, what's it? Uh, um, yeah, nine thousand. It's not the it's not the tie you want to get, but with how we just put Cambridge to the sword, you hope we could do the same thing to Colchester. So if we have a look at the schedule now, I feel like that's where we come back for. So yeah. Next episode, we'll probably do a double header of the FA Trophy followed by the FA Cup. We've got a week between them and all, which is fantastic. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're new channel, hit that subscribe button. All the support really does mean the world to me. We have continued with consistent uploads and I'm going to keep saying this until I'm not consistent. I have been Justin and you have had just enough.